Hey guys, Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com, and today I'm going to show you how you can bench heavy every week. So when it comes to benching heavy every single week, this is not for everyone. Keep that in mind. Everyone is not going to respond well to benching heavy on a weekly basis. Some are going to see really great progress doing this. Some others are going to be better taking a more of a, a linear approach in which they are steadily building volume, building intensity. Uh, so everyone's going to be a bit different, but this is my favorite strategy towards getting heavy benching in. I like to use either a conjugate style of programming or I like to go to a block style of programming. Um, and the key here, if you want to bench heavy on a weekly basis without completely frying yourself, because let's face it, if you went to the gym and you did a one rep max every single week, I think we've all been there starting out in our lifting journey. Not the way to go. Gonna set yourself up for injury, gonna set yourself up for burnout and fatigue. So obviously we're not gonna be able to go in there, do a competition bench, one rep max every single week. So what can we get away with? Well, this is how I like to implement heavy benching on a weekly basis. So when it comes to the conjugate system or doing a block periodization, it comes down to variation. Variation is what is going to allow us to be able to train at max effort but allow ourselves a little bit of a different stimulus so that we don't accumulate that burnout. It's not quite the same movement, we're switching up something along the way. So how I'll typically set up weekly heavy benching with the conjugate system would be something like this. Or it might start the week with something a little bit more volume. Usually if I'm doing a conjugate system with someone, I'm not gonna go beyond five reps for their main work. And typically, I'm not really gonna skate outside the realm of three rep maxes. Uh, just because what we're gonna do in terms of secondary movements, what we're gonna do for accessories, that's really gonna speak to our volume for the session. It's not necessarily the main movement. We're gonna reserve that for more of a high intensity type of training. So I'll typically won't go beyond three rep maxes. So this would be perfect here, first week, we would do something full range, we'd accumulate a little bit more volume by doing three reps. We'd probably work up slow, take a slow lead up to that. All right, and we're gonna use close grip. In this situation here, this is gonna be someone that needs to develop their lockout, needs to develop triceps. So this would be perfect for an equipped athlete, or it would be perfect for a raw bencher who struggles right near that lockout portion of their bench. So we're gonna attack close grip benching week one. Week two, we're gonna hit some partial range benching by using a two board. Now we can vary the boards here, but a partial range bench is also gonna be great because it's gonna deload you from going full range. So I like to sprinkle that in. It kinda acts as a deload in terms of what you're doing full range. You're not going through that portion of range of motion, which can be very taxing on your body. Um, just because you're gonna typically be weakest towards the bottom, uh, especially as a raw bencher. So that is saving you know, your, your joints and whatnot. You don't have to come all the way down, which ends up causing so shoulder issues for many benchers. So it's a little bit of a, um, a breakup of the work here in terms of full range. So we'll start close grip. We'll do a three rep max accumulating again some volume with a two board. Um, and as a training cycle goes on, this might become a two rep max, a two rep max, right? And then we just continue to try to beat our numbers each time. So we can work it that way, all right? But we hit this two board. This is gonna be competition grip. Now we're gonna work a two rep max with a slingshot. So we're gonna go full range. We're still a bit deloaded here, okay? Still allowing the recovery from what we did close grip week one. Um, but we're going to hit the slingshot that's also going to allow us to handle heavier weight going into week four in which we're going to do a one rep max bench. This is how I would kind of work out a conjugate structure for my athletes. All right, something along these lines. Uh, typically earlier in the block, it's going to be higher rep work. Um, that might change as we get closer to a meet. All right, we're going to accumulate a little bit more volume here. Um, as we get later in the block, accessory volume goes down. Um, secondary a work goes down a little bit and then we're getting to some really high intensity work two rep max slingshot one rep max bench so this is a great way which which should be tolerable for most people being able to do something like this a lot of variation here which is the key to promote recovery um, a lot of deloading from full range you can see 
Um, we only have two weeks, very spaced, very far apart, three weeks apart in terms of when you're going full range raw without any assistance. So great setup here with conjugate if you want to bench heavy every single week. Here we have a, a block. Um, this is how I like to set things up in terms of like a linear periodization with, with block formats there. So week one, I'll have an athlete maybe do a five rep max raw. Now typically with this type of progression, I'm gonna um, go, go beyond three rep maxes more often. All right, I might even go beyond a five rep max, but if we're sticking to that tune of trying to get up to a heavy weight like this, I like to add in AMRAPs. Uh, so I'll have an athlete work up to like a five rep max raw, and then we'll do some back down sets early in our training cycle, and we'll finish with an AMRAP, you know, sometimes along the line too. So five rep max raw, next week three rep max raw, and really all we're changing there is going to be um, the rep scheme. Okay, so we're just not gonna do as much work. So we're, in terms of the actual movement itself, we're not gonna change too much. Um, then we're gonna go into a one rep max slingshot. I do that because we already taxed ourselves pretty good, full range, right, competition style with these two weeks. So we're gonna get a little break from that, have that assistant device on, allow ourselves to overload weight a bit with the one rep max and the slingshot. And then typically in, in this type of a format, because I'm gonna stick to the main movement a little bit more often, I will implement a deload. If we wanted to run straight through just benching heavy every week, I would probably change one of these weeks into um, you know, partial range movement or we might use the slingshot a bit earlier and then we can run into like a one rep max bench. Um, this might change depending on where we're at in the training cycle. But if you ask me, if you want to bench heavy every week, I say it's not for everyone, but if we are going to bench heavy every week, these are the ways I like to do it. And these are a block of each. So either a block, linear periodization, or conjugate system is what I personally like to use. And this is how I'll kind of break it down, how I'll shake it up in order to get someone benching heavy every week. It really comes down to variation. You just need to have that variation in the movements to allow for that recovery to occur. Coach Ben here, and you know where to find me. You can meet me on a bench. If you enjoyed the video, click the link down below to learn more about our ultimate benching resource, the Better Benching Academy, where you can access all our programming in-app as well as exclusive content you can't get anywhere else. And if you'd like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, Click the link in the description box below to fill out your application and schedule your coaching call with me today.